Hi sir, good morning. Good morning. How was your session? It was great, it was great. Uh, I learned a lot and uh, there was uh, very good discussions uh -huh. on uh, MSMs and um, how to integrate MSMs into uh, current legislation on uh, SRH and uh, HIV AIDS. Um, how about, um, how was your stay here in Korea, in Daika? Oh, this is my first time and it's it's uh, a learning experience. I'm meeting a lot of people and uh, really just looking at the, the range of issues that we have to address and, and it's a very important for me as a parliamentarian to learn all the experiences from other countries and uh, what the current developments are, what the current problems are uh, and uh, to see how we in the Philippines can respond to this uh, very important issues. Okay, so, so how many parliamentarians from the Philippines are here right now? Uh, well, we are all of one. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm the only one, fortunately. Uh, probably some of the parliamentarians and other things. Yeah, um, Bayan Muna is um, doing great in terms of passing legislat legislative measures back in our country. So can you give us an update on the RH bill? Well, the RH bill is currently still being debated on after so many years. And uh, uh, we hope that it gets passed in the lower house uh, within this year. Of course, the challenge really is uh, the strong opposition from the Catholic hierarchy on the issue of uh, contraception, artificial contraception and uh, population management. But it, it's, uh, I think um, it, it's something that uh, we really have to push, you know, despite uh, the strong disagreement from certain sectors. One thing I learned here is that uh, really uh, reproductive health is not or should not only be limited to uh, women uh, and population management. A lot of it uh, has to do with, uh, with men you know, and uh, the prevention of uh, HIV AIDS. So I, I'm thinking how it can be integrated into our current RH law, but if, if that is a long shot, then uh, we could probably have uh, certain amendments to the current HIV or AIDS law uh, with respect to MSMs and other uh, new issues. Thank you, sir. Um, recently, the LEDAC had a meeting with the Office of the President mm -hmm. and President Aquino already endorsed RH bill as one of the priority bills. Yeah. Um, is this a promising move? Can, can it hasten the passage of the bill? Well, it's supposed to do, uh, to do just that. Uh, the, the Joint uh, Legislative Advisory Committee um, is composed of leaders from the Senate, from the House, and from the Executive. And we hope that this will really expedite the passage of the Reproductive Health Bill. Um, uh, and I, I see no reason why we should not pass this bill immediately. Um, there's another controversial bill that is being um, set right now, like the, the review of the RA8504, the AIDS law in the Philippines. Right. So can you give us an update what's um, the latest in the review for the amendment of this law? Well, I'm not really privy to the what has happened so far, but definitely uh, after this conference, I think a uh, comprehensive review is really uh, needed. You know, the law has been there for the past 14 years. There are a lot of shortcomings but uh, a lot of things have also been done also a uh, number of achievements uh, I, I think we have to update the law uh, uh, not only on the issue of MSMs but many of there are many technological and scientific uh, developments as well as political developments in the field as uh, shown by the recent statement uh, in New York by the United Nations high-level meeting on AIDS so all these things have to be considered and, uh, and uh, at the minimum a review of the law is in order for us to improve it and ensure that uh, really we, we um, meet our targets for AIDS prevention and reduction in the next few years. Um, second to the last question, sir. Um, can the Philippines uh, 
fulfill its targets in reaching the MDGs by well, 2015? Well, well, that will really depend on the political leadership. Um, you know, uh, meeting those targets requires resources, it requires uh, adequate budget for our health uh, system. It requires uh, a certain level of awareness of the issues surrounding AIDS and uh, HIV. So uh, again, it, it will also require social mobilization from the various stakeholders, especially the LGBT community and the health sector. Uh, so um, we, we hope that we really get our acts together and we meet our targets. I see. Um, last question, sir. Um, what is uh, Bayan Muna doing in order for these um, legislative measures be passed or be achieved at the end of the day? Well, we are really uh, striving to work closely with the LGBT community on an anti-discrimination bill. I think uh, the bill itself, you know, even if it is not passed, even if it's just discussed uh, in Congress and in public, will go a long way in recognizing the specific uh, conditions of our LGBTs who are the most vulnerable as far as AIDS and HIV is concerned. I think uh, raising the issues and uh, raising awareness on these issues is a big, uh, a, a big task ahead. Oh, and the passage of this anti-discrimination bill will go a long way in uh, encouraging our uh, uh, MSMs to avail of uh, treatment, to avail of, uh, to have themselves tested without fear of uh, being discriminated against or, or having that stigma. Oh, and um, well, we, we hope for us it's really about mobilizing people, it's really about forming a public opinion and we, we are out to engage in our, uh, with our uh, LGBT community and other stakeholders on this. Okay. Sir, very last question. <laughs> um, what do you expect um, in the coming days in the conference? What are you trying well, I, to gain? I, I really expect uh, more information. I expect to learn more. I expect more uh, exchanges of experience. Uh, after all, that is what the conference is really all about. You know? It's about learning from each other. And um, uh, I hope to take all these things with me back to the Philippines and uh, integrate them in, in the things that I do in Congress and in, in, in my advocacies. Thank you very much, sir. Mabuhay po kayo.